Hello everyone, this is Roxas1359, welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix Plus. Last time, we destroyed the MCP and managed to find out Hollow Bastion's true name, Radiant Garden. In this episode, we're going to be finally tackling Atlantica. Now, the next three episodes are going to be nothing but filler ones, being Atlantica and the Hundred Acre Woods. So, if you don't want to deal with them, simply skip them. The night sky is so beautiful right after a storm. You know what else is beautiful? The sight of dead people after a shipwreck. <gasps> what would I give to live where you are? What would I pay? To stay here beside you. What That's not creepy at all. At I'm also very scared about a lot of copyright for this. Oh, he's alive! Quick, book it! <laughs> Seriously, that's not creepy at all. Said no one ever. The girl rescued me. Her voice. Welcome back to Atlantica, one of the only worlds in this game where there will be no heartless or no bodies. In fact, there will be little to no fighting. Oh boy, I can see it, boy. Oh, oh, oh. Good thing Frank and Fran was here to, you know, stitch us together. Forget how to swim already? Kinda, I guess. Then you boys got to practice. You follow Flounder. He show you what to do. Come on, Sora. You can do it. Well, I sort of have to. Otherwise, I can't get to the save point. Then I'd be Fubar. All right. So controls for underwater, pretty much, is giving you all these tutorials right here. Uh, easier explanation. It's got the same controls as carpet. Pretty much when it comes to ascending and descending. Uh, you can end up swimming slowly with the circle button. But go right here. And we get a piece of the destiny photo. And right now, since I am inside the tutorial, I cannot put the last piece of the destiny photo together. Meanwhile, I was thinking, oh, I should talk to Sebastian if I can go forward. But me ignoring everything. No, I have to talk to Flounder. Luckily, the um, thing for this one is a lot easier. So you can use the circle button to swim slower, and you can do dolphin kick with the X button. It's reversed inside of uh, American localizations. Oh yeah, I should mention this right now. This is text-based cutscene in the world. This is also the only point in this project in which I literally just rage quit at one point. And I, I will gladly point out which point I rage quit. And I'll also explain what the rage quitting was. But yeah, we're, you know... Doing everything here, but everything seems peaceful here for now. Yes, as long as my father is in a good mood, no one dies. Piss him off, and then everyone's dead. You see that storm up there? <laughs> that was my dad pissed. Singers for a musical. I like to think that the idea for this came around the time, because I think High School Musical was popular around this time. Yeesh, Sebastian, you don't need to be so pushy. Well, she is a teenage girl. Teenagers act strange. 
I know I did. Alright, so... Now we're going to be getting into the main thing that is for this world when it comes to Atlantica and why a lot of people do not like Atlantica and Kingdom Hearts 2. I should mention this now. Atlantica can be entirely skipped if you want to, but you will be missing out on a few things. So what is it? We have to hit buttons at a certain time to the rhythm. It's like Hatsune Miku Diva Project, only entirely nerfed. Which is why I don't like it, because it's entirely nerfed. And some of the timing for it is a bit weird. But let's begin! So, let's make a first good impression, huh? Alright, I gotta make a good impression, and oh! Now, you won't o you'll only get that if you end up uh, screwing that up. But, for the rest of Atlantica, I will do relatively well. And it doesn't matter whether you get good or excellent. Uh, both of them will give you the same thing. Uh, each difference for this world will have basically different stipulations. Pretty much, what we're going to be starting out with only is the circle button, which what we're going to be using. Later on, we're going to be moving over to being able to use the triangle button the square button, and then the X button for random mashing, which is a very nerfed Diva Project F. Which is why I am not a fan of it, because I like having challenge! The other reason why I'm scared about this world is there are a lot of copywritten songs in this world. I was tempted on making my own composition for one of them. But I couldn't do it in time, mainly because I couldn't write it in time. But yes, it's not just with us who we have to watch out for. We have to watch out for things in the background, such as bubbles or sea urchins or anything else. My recommendation for this, the background is highly distracting. Focus on the buttons only. Once you focus on the buttons and get the timing right, you should be able to get through this just fine. But if you start focusing on the background, that can be where you mess up a bit if you're not careful. Yeah, I don't know either. I don't know if I want to be in a Nerf Diva Project F. Okay. Alright, so if we want to talk, go into the musical, we do that. But we got our map for Atlantica. Now, the Jiminy objectives for this world are a bit interesting. Uh, all they do is require you to play through every single one of the songs that are going to be inside here throughout just one more time. That's it. So I'm actually going to be doing those off screen. Because you've seen them once, you've seen them before. Nothing's changed. But now that we're done with this, we can now finish the Destiny photo and get a new recipe. So there you go. Which means we have now finished three of the puzzles. And the next one we're going to be finishing up is Edge, actually. Because both Edge pieces are in this world. So we need to go and talk to Sebastian if we want to go and be in a musical because you know when i'm going on a world wide adventure i think musicals but let's start out with this swim this way which is i believe for a lot of people for the ones who like this world they're not a fan of this one all right so our stipulation for this one we need to have at least one note inside of the bar that is going to be represented at the top. You get a note each time you end up getting an excellent. This is very easy to go through, but just right there. Start out with the treble clef. And goods do not give you one, but they do not subtract from one. A bad will subtract one from your score, so you just need to keep that in mind. And we get an eighth note. We got another 16. And this is when I realized when I was doing this, oh my god, I never switched my keyblades. Because off screen I was grinding. That's what I was doing. So I still have the gold wing on. This keyblade looks so stupid here. 
Yes, yeah, so I'm going to be talking through a lot of these songs just right now, just because, if anything, these ones are going to be highly copyrighted. Not this one in particular, because this is an original composition for this game. More of the second and third song, which are highly copyrighted. Just jumping the gun, now it's part of your world and under the sea. Now, I find that very distracting if you're watching Sora, because you might end up losing track of when to hit the circle button. But honestly, once you get the timing for this down, you will get excellence to goods usually every single time. But I will say one interesting thing about this is that if you get good or bad, good, excellent, or bad, there is differences because you can't see what happens when you end up screwing up, which is rather hilarious. We'll give Haley Jawsman this, though. He has a good singing voice. Swim along, just join in the song A musical for everyone to have a lot of finny fun I will say this right now You have not lived until you heard the Japanese voice actor for Donald and Goofy Singing in Japanese And by that I mean do not listen to it Because after a while it sounds weird Oh, King Triton, are you in a good mood today? We're gonna have any more accidents? Your Majesty, we have visitors. King Triton. I certainly hope there hasn't been a need to use that keyblade of yours. Nope, everything's fine. Not a heartless in sight. Your Majesty, our guests, they want to sing in the musical. Well, that sounds like a splendid idea. We may need your help after all. You see, I'm afraid Ariel's still infatuated with the human world. A busy rehearsal schedule might be just the thing she needs to stop thinking about life up on the surface. Triton really doesn't understand his daughter. Or any of his daughters, for that matter. Swim along, just join in huh? the song. A musical for everyone to have a lot of finny fun. Her voice travels. I'm sure of it. Hello? Where are you hiding? I know you're the girl who saved me. Please, come out so I can thank you. Ariel? That girl's acting strange again. Probably been flitting around on the surface. Oh, the Sea King's gonna have my class for this. Come on, we gotta keep rehearsing. I'm sorry, but I don't feel like it. No, Ariel! I've got an idea, Sebastian. You do? I know how to cheer Ariel up. Come on, follow me! Ooh, huh? You know how to cheer her up, huh? Ah, shipwreck! Perfect! That will cheer her up! A testament to her father's anger. Oh, with the statue. Well, yeah, we can show this to Ariel. It's buried under a rock under the sea, showing the power of the ocean. All hail Triton! Then he will just sink another boat and have it take its place. All hail Triton. Oh, wait, do you want me to move the rock? Oh, she wants the statue. Yeah, that makes more sense. All hail Triton. Oh, we can't seem to move it. And here comes the stipulation as to why I was waiting to go to this world. 
To unlock new chapters, you need to have new abilities throughout the game. For the second chapter, you need to have Magnet, which means you will have to have beaten Port Royal. There are five chapters total, and you're going to need one for each area. And this is when I'm realizing, okay, let's get back to the Keyblade we all know and love. But that's pretty much the case. You're going to need new abilities throughout each one that you get naturally by doing other worlds. Otherwise, you can't continue with any of it. So, once you have Magnet, just go and talk to Flounder, and he'll say, do you want to go and move it? So we do, and the game completely skips us moving the statue with Magnet underwater. And we go straight to Chapter 2, Part of Your World. That is actually what that says in Katakana. Which means I need to talk a lot or lower this a lot. Because this is a highly... Ariel! Copywritten song. We'd like you to come with us, Ariel. Have we got something to show you? It's a pretty cool statue, huh? I want to find some kind of prince. A prince? And now we introduce the use of the triangle button. It works the same way as the circle button. It's just you're hitting the triangle button instead of the circle button. Now for this one, you need to get at least five excellence. This is made a lot easier because unlike the first song when you have two it counts as two for both the excellence and already i have all my you know things selected so it's perfect and the combo and the excellent chain it doesn't matter now it's interesting to note that i said before that the jimny objectives for this you just have to play the songs one more time there's no hidden objective for it you just have to play them one more time that's it which is why i will be doing them off screen because there is nothing changed between this i should keep i should i should keep talking because you know um this could be very very bad the only thing I hate is that the goods end up ruining your excellent combo. But it doesn't really matter too much because of, you know, the fact that you don't... I don't think that if you get a bad, you lose any on your target score either. Okay, now that flip right there always disorients me whenever I'm doing that. And I know I'm going to be pissing off a lot of people by talking through this song, but I don't care. This is very copywritten. I mean, more copywritten than... Freaking Utada Hikaru's Passion, Sanctuary, Simple and Clean, you name it. This song and the next song are more copywritten than those, and for good reason. Although Disney might be a little bit more lenient since they own Polaris nowadays. All hail the Disney overlords. All hail Triton. Ariel, we're here to help you, you know? Oh no, you three stay out of it. Look who's talking. Yeah, you are gonna tell your dad about it. Well, what am I going to do? Nothing is wrong, good sir. Yes, so no need to sink any more ships. As long as this song doesn't sing about anglerfish, I'm fine. I hate anglerfish. They scare me. They're like one of my biggest fears. I just don't like the teeth. Or the fact that the males literally get digested on the inside when they mate. Rather creepy. Uh-oh. Uh, of course, sir. It will work. 
No need to no need to turn me into crab. Crab meat. Ah, great. Ariel's still staring into space. Looks like we didn't fix anything. We made it worse. Hmm, how can we make it better? Well, we can meddle some more. Meddling always works. Or Donald could play her singing role. That also works. You're not gonna get it, Donald. It's obviously meant for Sora. Although I have said it before, Taylor Joe Osmond does have a good singing voice. complicated for me. What? Are you calling me stupid? Exactly. I'm not that stupid. As Sora, Donald, and Goofy look at amazement and wonder how this paper has not been dissolved underwater yet. And right now, you need to have your drive gauge up to five in order to to unlock the next chapter. That makes no sense to me. Okay, every other requirement that is gonna be inside for unlocking a new chapter makes sense because it's gonna be magic related. Why is it not, why the drive gauge? You don't even have the drive gauge underwater. But after the second chapter, you have access to the Triton's throne room, which will give you the final two edge pieces for the puzzle. So. Let's finish those up right now. And as a result, we've also collected every single puzzle piece for this world. So, let us go and finish up the edge puzzle, leaving only the Twilight and Dawn photos. The Twilight photo we're going to be getting a little bit later, but move that right there. And we get a Lost Illusion, a new synthesis item for this game. You will be getting a Lost Illusion every single time you end up fighting one of the absent silhouettes. Now, I will get more into that after we get through a bunch of the, you know, side worlds. Because soon, we're actually going to be tackling a lot of the mini games and everything that we unfortunately have to do in order to get 100% in Jiminy's Journal. But for right now, let's talk with Sebastian. Sebastian, I am smart enough to know how to do this musical now. So, will you let me do it? Why, yes. So now on to chapter three. Under the sea. One copyright after another. Uh, to give you an idea of what the original song I was going to be doing about this was going to be dealing with copyright. But we have a new command here. We have the square button. The square button is relegated to Sebastian and Ariel. Whenever it's Sebastian, do not touch it. It will end up getting you an excellent if you do that. If it's an aerial, you have to hit it. Now, one thing to keep in mind as well is that when it's a Sebastian, sometimes it can turn into an aerial at the last second. Now, the stipulation for this one is we have to get aerials, you know, mood all the way up to, you know, above the sea. So, that's really it. Uh, excellence will move the bar further. Goods will still move it up and bads will move it down. So, keep that in mind. I do like this song for the simple fact that it gives you quite a bit of uh, different little quirks if you end up messing up. Now, I also need to mention this. The square button has a different timing than the circle and the triangle button. So, watch out for that. So much copyright! You know, at times like this, I wish that I had actually um, finished that song on copyright claims, because instead of the course being under the sea, it would be copyright claims. Huh, maybe I'll, maybe I'll release it one day. I have like half the song done in all honesty, but I just wanted to get this done. What am I doing? I should be talking. That's also copyrighted for the lyrics. Not only the lyrics, but the melody. Copyright claims. 
It's so terrible. I don't want to deal with Disney with copyright claims. They're scary. Which is why I'm not talking. I know I'm going to be annoying so many people with my constant talking for this because of this. Um, after this one, though, I think I will be quiet for the other songs because they're not copywritten. So everything's fine. Everything will be fine after this song. And we're done. All right. That should take care of the copyright stuff for now. If I find out that the next two songs are even more copywritten, I'm going to be so sad. So what do you think, Ariel? Oh, I think it's a great song, Sebastian. It's just, it's not what I want to sing. <gasps> I want to sing about how our two worlds can live in harmony, land and sea together. The Sea King would make chowder out of me if you sang a song like that. If you won't listen, then I'm not going to sing at all. Well, Ariel. How do I get myself into these situations? Oh, man. Not only has that girl fallen in love at the worst possible time, but with a human! Ariel's in love with a human? <gasps> King Titan! Oh, me and my big mouth! You know, he can sneak up on people. And again, all hail Triton. Wait, does he come to this beach every single day? Maybe it's to, like, thank the fact that he's not dead, I guess. I guess that would be a reason. Well, he'd think he's drunk, and his, he'd think that he was talking to, you know, a sea lion. Or was it a... What was it that sailors used to mistake mermaids for? Was it a sea lion? No, I don't think it was a sea lion. It might have been a sea, just a plain seal. I don't remember. Either way, though, somehow he dropped something and did not realize it. <sighs> if only one of us would use our arms to go and grab it, or Donald with his many tentacles. Unfortunately, no. This is just an excuse to kick you out of the world until you have Magnara. Magnara. I'm going to call it Magnara. I like that better. Which means you have to have beaten the Port Royal level for the second time in order to continue to Chapter 4 right here. Now, Chapter 4 is going to give us a couple of prizes, but our main goal is to get to Chapter 5, and we have everything for that. So, let's talk with Ariel and get that little trinket back. And as a result, get a shit ton of cutscenes, including the cutscene that caused me to rage quit. 